as leaders of teams, we have a problem. We want to be liked because it brings teams together, it brings teams forward, people follow a person rather than just a function. Um, on the other hand, if we only want to be liked and that's all we have, we're very, very poor in our leadership. We need to be able to do tough decisions that are, aren't liked and we need to be handling criticism. So yesterday after the sermon, a, gu a guy from our church approached me, he said he, he spoke really to his heart. Uh, he has a, he, he's, he's leading around, I don't know, uh, years ago his team was 400 people. Now it's, it's maybe 10 times the size. Um, and he, he, he said that he has this very hard t task. They, they brought him into Switzerland to diminish the business to what it needs to be, be you know, become. And now it's probably a third or, or that. And, and that is such a tough task. So I asked him, how do you keep a soft heart and a thick skin? Because you need a thick skin. But if, you, if that's all you have, you just become <laughs> brutal. <laughs> and you, I don't know, you just fire people with, without even seeing the, the, the repercussions of it. And he, he was very humble about it. But he also said that uh, he needs to have relationships where there is no uh, performance-based uh, relationship. It just has, like marriage, has, has nothing to do with performance. In, in, in some way, there is just this covenant where there's safety. And, and church is something like that, he said to, to me. It's really nice for me to hear. And the other thing he said is that uh, he compartmentalizes really well. So he has to keep those things uh, segregated some way. Um, he had to handle very, very tough criticism from above. Someone told him, uh, I am not allowed to have favorites, but you could be one. And he told me that his affirmation went skyrocketed at that moment. And a second later, that this person said, but if you don't get this problem fixed in front, and he said it in front of like 40 people, you're going to be fired very, very soon. And, and he heard things like that. But he, he also has a criticism from the public that don't like him to shrink a company. He has criticism from down below because he has to do unpopular things. And in keeping a thick skin, he said, I, I fight against decision fatigue in regretting decisions. I, I, I need to stop regretting decisions because... Uh, I, I did. I, once I have 50 or 60 percent of the data, I have to be fast in deciding things. So once I have that, I, I have to follow through and I just have to do them. And uh, it's worse to not decide than to do, do the wrong decision. And really spoke to me in that, that sense. Um, I discovered that if, if I want to keep a, th a, a thick skin and a soft heart, I need to be a worship person. I need to keep praying, I need to keep going to God, because God is the safe place, that's where I can pour out my heart, cry if, if I need to, yell, shout in the car where no one is around, and, and just pour out my heart, and it's a safe place, because God is the non-performance place, that's the place where I can be myself, and, and I can, my, so, my heart becomes soft again, and I can become compassionate again, and for the thick skin, I get a validation that is beyond what I offer, what I can do. And that helps me to be resilient in criticism. I don't have that much criticism like, like this guy, obviously. But criticism can get really, really close to you. And if it gets to your heart, it can poison your heart. And you can, you can come be angry at the person instead of at the issue. Or, or you know. So let me pray over you so you can have develop more and more a uh, thick skin and a soft heart. Thank you, Jesus, that you know us. I pray that we can enter a safe place with you this week and we can feel your embrace, know we're loved, know we're cared for. You're the one who came to heal hearts, mend broken people. I pray also that you would give us thick skins so we know that if we do the right thing, we do the right thing. And... I pray that we, you would enlarge our vision, enlarge our capacity for this week. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Love you guys. Hope that was helpful. And um, 
I'm so inspired by all the connect groups, by everyone leading teams. You're the best. We love you guys so, so much.